Be sure and tell them Lord Mars sent ya. <laughs> expecting you. I know, Father. So, you have accepted the truth. I've accepted the truth that you were once Anakin Skywalker, my father. That name no longer has any meaning for me. It is the name of your true self you've only forgotten. I know there is good in you. The Emperor hasn't driven it from you fully. That was why you couldn't destroy me. That's why you won't bring me to your emperor now. Hey guys, welcome to the Large Marge Send Us podcast, your favorite podcast where two sweetie sisters talk about movies that shaped their childhood. I'm Sweetie. And I'm Sweetie. It's a big day, guys. Huge. Huge. Huge day. Motherfucking day. Because we have now reached... Officially, <laughs> one hundred episodes. One hundred episodes that we've recorded. One hundred episodes we chatted about with sweetie alumni and synopsis, and, and sometimes we call Carol and trivia and questions. And talking about guys that aren't cool. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot how it ends. Man, we should have planned that out. Yeah. That would have been um, cool. No, that's what makes a good song. Yeah. And you don't plan it out, actually. 100 episodes. So actually, guys, we we've done did. more yeah. than 100 episodes because we have a lot of bonus episodes. Yeah. So this is our official numbered episode, episode 100. Yeah. yeah. One, so, zero, zero, guys. Which... You know, patting ourselves on the back here. Hear that? Hear that pat? Hear that pat? Oh, um, oh. that's pretty cool. And does it feel like a hundred episodes, sweetie, Sweeterson? No, I feel like it was just yesterday. I we know. were like fifty episodes. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, we've we've been cranking them out. You know, we've been we've been working hard, and it feels good. Feels good. And since such a big milestone, such a big event, if you will. Uh, we thought it appropriate to do the return <laughs> of the Jedi. <laughs> What's going on over there? I, of the, to, no, are no. you having a stroke? Because <laughs> <laughs> of the new Star Wars titles, like now, like used to be like Jedi. The only like t- movie title with Jedi in it was Return of the Jedi. Right now, there's. The Last Jedi, which is like what I went into saying. So I was like, the Return of the... A little worried there for a minute. Yeah. Um, yeah. Return of the Jedi. Yeah. That's it. This is it. Yeah. Rounding out our Star Wars <sighs> trilogy. Dun, 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 um, feels good. It feels good. Sad Darth Vader theme. Q on three. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. God, that was fucking sad. <laughs> I was losing it today. <laughs> Roller co- coaster of emotions, if you will, on the couch I today, know, guys. I was worried. Literally lost it a couple times. Um, 1983. This movie came out May 25th, 1983. Guys, guess how old I was? A couple weeks. Days. I was a couple oh. days oh, old. Oh, you're right, you're right. 25, 19, okay. Isn't sorry. that crazy? I'm bad at math. So maybe so. this is my spirit sh- spirit animal movie. Hmm. Interesting. Though not really, because I'll, I'll say this later, but I didn't like it as much as when I used to watch it. Oh. I'm confused. My soul Shoot. is conflicted. You finally caught up with everyone else. Totally. I, um, I get it. I get it. But I still love it. Yeah. It's so good. So yeah, filmed in 1983, last of the Star Wars original trilogy before 
the shithole movies came out and before the new cool movies that just came out. Um, what is there to say about the fucking Return of the Jedi? I mean, Sweetie, lay it on know, me. Stars all of our old friends. They're all back here. Um, add in some new ones. A lot of creatures, a lot of puppet work. Um, you know, Jabba comes back. He's fatter than ever. He gained a <laughs> lot of pounds since we last saw him in the he's old. A, he's been doing um, nothing. He's been on vacay. Vacay on Tatooine. On his sail barge his too often. Barge. Eating too many frogs yeah. to go. Like, <laughs> I know. It's like so timely now because you're like, wait, is he like Harvey Weinstein? Is he Donald mm. Trump? Oh, like even who disgusting person is he I mean, relatable in this world? My main question is, is he's eating frogs. Kind of looks like a frog. Is he eating frogs? And he's yeah, a frog? I mean, he's like a no. slug. He's like a giant slug uh, frog. Oh, okay. Reptile, so like reptilian. a gastropod. Yeah. I mean, it's just like. There's no, I mean, it's different. I know, they're all different things. things. So you I can't, know, like, but it's just weird it that, I know, I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, so we loved this one the most when we were little, I think. I definitely love this one the most. It's definitely the one I watched the most. We had Me the um, VHS box set. Mm -hmm. It was gold. Um, you pulled out. All three movies were in there. And I'd always be like, which one do I want to watch? Mm, Return of the Jedi again. Yeah. I mean, this one is made for children. Like Sweetie said, it is fucking chock full of puppets. I mean, there is creature, 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 like everywhere. With the grand creature being teddy bears. I mean, <laughs> essentially teddy bears, Ewoks. And as a kid watching this, you are entranced. You are like... What are those things? When can I get one? Can, I get one? can they be my best friend? Mm -hmm. What is the deal here? <sighs> um, so, like, it, it's just instantly, like, made for children. There are some really good scenes. One I remember more than others. It seems to me that I really stopped watching the movie after a certain point because I really didn't remember basically the last quarter of this when we were watching it. I was like, wait, what happened? Was and then I was conf like confusing it with the Empire Strikes Back and like, ah. So I was like kind of lost. Maybe it was just too long and you just, you like went to bed after a certain point and there you were, fell asleep. So I that's know. the thing I was saying. Those There are like kind of boring parts to this. Like I was getting a little distracted and being like, wow, like how long does the scene end like last in the forest? Like, whoa. And it seems like from to me when we were just watching this, like they're on end uh, Endor like that. Like the beginning part is so quick, and then all of a sudden, like the whole like almost two thirds of it is on Endor, like doing all that shit, and then it's all like oh Luke, like oh I'm gonna kill my dad, uh, whiny whiny, like this that. <laughs> um, but I really did like that part of the end with like he's really trying to like battle the good and the evil, and you're mm. like, is he gonna turn to the dark side? And you're like, of course he's not, Luke Skywalker. Yeah. But he's like getting real angry, and then yeah. you're like, wait, is he? Is he I not? Mean, is he not? Is he not? He's got. I mean, okay controversial opinion but the problem with the force is that it's a balancing act like you can't only be good like you have to have both you just have to balance them out right and i feel like the the dark will occasionally come out right but i feel like the jedi is like don't embrace that they're always like oh, dark no yeah. and then they just like run away from it but like i think what the thing with like ray is gonna be is that like it's okay to have both just right. like in inside out it's okay to be sad yeah. like it's okay as long as like you don't act on it and um you know obviously if you do it carries you away aka darth vader but there's always a little like nugget of good in him which comes out at the end right which or so luke, he well, says which luke like well, supposedly is like i saw good in him and, and like, i'm like when when he cut off your hand yeah. uh i don't think so but my question or what i thought i saw in this was that like did darth vader kill the emperor because he was killing his son or was he pissed he essentially got like double crossed <laughs> because <laughs> the emperor was like Kill Darth Vader and you can take his place. So was he just pissed off that like no. the Emperor was going to fuck him over? No. He's not Kylo Ren. Okay? <laughs> no. He saw Luke like writhing on the ground being like, Father, Father, help. And it just like triggered something. And he was like, oh, save you, son. Yeah. And then did it. So but I mean, we'll talk about Do you that. think, I mean, oh. like sort of spoiler alert for the new <laughs> ones. I mean, if you haven't seen them, like leave this podcast right now because you're sort of seeing it the day it came out. Yeah buddies not talking to you anymore yeah you're you're out of here um do you think that that'll be the character arc for kylo ren though are they setting it up for that i hope not because i feel like they already sort of did that in the movie that just came out because right. for a second you're like they were oh, like, okay gotcha. he's gonna be like besties with ren they're gonna like take over the world together her name is just Rey. kidding her name is ray what did i say ren ren is, is ren? kylo ren <laughs> 
<laughs> he's gonna be besties with himself. Okay, he's gonna be besties with Ray. No, Ben um, Ren. Okay, yeah, because I feel like they already set it up for that. So I feel like he just got to die now. He's just got to die, or yeah. he's gonna like realize it himself and like kill himself. I don't know. Mm, these that'd are, be fun. These are theories. These are, these Go are down the theories. well, if you will. Um, <laughs> <laughs> inside joke. Um, so yeah, so I think so. In the past, we've done fun, sweetie synopses for this. Um, but we didn't plan anything special for this. So I think we're just going to do it traditionally. Yeah, all I, I think traditional. we should do traditional because we, you know, we've done our past ones. So if you listen to the past ones, please do. They're a crazy romp through the Star Wars universe. So, okay. So if you remember for the first Star Wars, we did a speed synopsis. Speed synopsis. That was really fun. Times two. We each did it. Embarrassing. Sweetie lost. Oh my God. I did so horrible. Yeah, Start doing a rapid yeah. freestyle oh jam God. at some point. It was awesome. <laughs> And then the second one, we did like a one person says one sentence about the plot and then the next person has to like take over. I compared it to that game that, game that goes like, I'm going to a picnic and I'm bringing apples. But it's not like that <laughs> at all. Because that you have to say everything the person before you <laughs> yeah, said. That would have been exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> so bad comparison. But fun synopsis. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, and so, yeah. So now we'll just do this one natural. Natural. Bad. Taking it back. All right. Ready? I'll Ready. just start with the dun dun What? I'm doing the sweet synopsis theme. I'm doing the scroll. But I will do the sweet I was waiting for that. I was like, what's my cue? What's my cue? It's time for the Star Wars sweet synopsis. Yeah, it is. It's a trap. Uh... I'm disappointed you did not do Jabba Wonga. <laughs> Jabba um, Nobaga. Jabba Nobaga. Um, he no <clears throat> Jedi. <clears throat> okay, starting now. Our friends are back. Luke has decided he needs to save his old pal Han or Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he says it, Han. Everyone says it differently. <laughs> and like I feel like most of them say Han. And I'm like, I always said Han. It's Han Solo. Who's Han Solo? Lando and Leia both said Han. It's weird as fuck. Well, it's also like in the first one when the guy's like Princess Leia. And you're yeah, like, who the fuck is Princess it's, Leia? It's fucked up. <laughs> Anyways, so they gotta save Han. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say that the whole time. They gotta save Han Solo. He's been, if you remember, cryogenically, f- no, carbon. <laughs> Like you said, he's been crying. I'm like, no, cryogenically <laughs> frozen is what I was going to say. But then I was like, wait, no, sorry. Frozen in carbonite. sealed? No. What? Isn't that Tupperware? Just, oh, no. <laughs> um, kind of. So, and he's at, at Jabba's Palace. So they have to do... <laughs> it's a weird accent. I know. And I, just, <laughs> ah, that was great. I decided just to go with it. <laughs> like It just came out and I was like, gotta commit, gotta commit. I was like, don't bring a smile, don't bring a smile. <laughs> Jabba's anyway, <laughs> so they're at, so they so they have a plan. So I don't know how long the time has been between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Right. The only thing I'm going off of is the length of Lando's hair, which <laughs> when Empire Strikes Back ended was very close, you know, cut, and now it's a bit longer and fuzzy. So I don't know. Black guys get their hair cut like once a week, so mm, yeah, maybe I mean, a month. I don't I mean, know. What else has happened? That's, I mean, maybe Luke was Luke supposedly trained more. Jedi, more. Jedi training. Uh, Yoda got progressively older, Yoda got older and is about to die. And uh, Death Star being oh, built yeah. up a little more. So maybe that could be like a time right. measure. So like, I don't know. Nobody knows. No one, no one knows. knows. And they won't tell us. It could be a month. Could really be a day. It's pretty rude. Nobody but knows. anyways, so apparently they formed this crazy plan. And I think I give it more credit than it actually warrants. Like this isn't Ocean's Eleven where <laughs> like they planned everything down to like them being or caught and almost dying. Yeah. Right. Well, that's why I'm like, hello. Well, is, is there a part of the Jedi uh, skill set is that you have a little bit of read about like what's going to happen though? I don't think so. Doesn't the Emperor do that, though? Isn't he like, I foresaw all this oh, or something? Maybe. So there might be some but part no of the Jedi that you can like kind of see what's going to happen. Know. I don't know. I think maybe they were just smart. Theory. And Lando had been positioned at the palace for like a while and like knew how things worked. Right. Like how I don't much know, in advance how did, did he, he have to apply for that job? Message? <laughs> I mean, I just imagine him like, is there a wait I list need, to work at Jabba's palace? I need, a spin-off. I need a spinoff, another spinoff of 
how this plan came to be right. and how Lando got that job mm-hmm. because how do they hire? I just don't get it. Like it seems like only pigs and weird. <laughs> yeah. Crusty, they don't hire humans. Let's be real people. Yeah. I saw another black guy actually. Um, so that's very interesting. <laughs> Could have been a stand in and he got in a shot by accident, but <laughs> um, weird. Like I just, it just yeah. makes sense to me. But anyways, so Lando's parked up there. He's a guard. Um, this, this movie opens with C-3PO and R2-D2 walking, rolling through the desert. Second question is, how does R2-D2 maneuver on the sand? I don't get it. He's got sand wheels. <sighs> he's got like a bunch of different wheels in there. So he's got like snow wheels. He's got sand wheels. What? He got regular wheels. He got mud what? wheels. I just don't He's got it. all the wheels. I don't get it. Anyway, so they the arrive there. Do anything. He is a and door breaker. Something you need to know Open. is that the person. only person who is not in on the plan is C-3PO because he presumably talks too much and would have let something slip. I don't know. Loose joy would have panicked. Sink palaces. Imperial oh, cruisers. Sure. Yep. <laughs> um, anyway, so they get there and then they offer themselves up as, or they play a hologram of Luke and he's like, here's a present for you. These two droids. And c 3 like, what? Ah. So then they get added to Jabba's staff because he's just like, I guess the unemployed just come to Jabba's palace yeah. to get jobs because yeah. it seems to be a a, plen- a lot of jobs here. Yeah. If you need one, it's there. Say what you want about that guy, but he created jobs. True. It's so true. Um, so R2-D2 is like a waitress <laughs> on the sand barge and C-3PO is Jabba's new interpreter because he disintegrated the last one. Um, then one day, bang, bang, someone comes through the door. It's Chewbacca, but being held captive by a tiny bounty hunter <laughs> <laughs> and the bounty hunter's be? like here's here's uh chewy um give me fifty thousand dollars like cool and job is like i'll give you three and he's like all right uh there's like other stuff in between where he tries to blow everybody up whatever blah, he's blah, blah. holding a thermal so, detonator <laughs> so chewy gets put in jail sad <laughs> um, middle of night cut to the middle of night apparently the palace closes down after a certain amount of time there's no more shenanigans people Closing have gotten time. home for some reason when I was little this I thought this palace is closed <laughs> for some reason when I was little I thought everyone just like slept there like yeah, in the, were there people sleeping yeah. when the, when that's why Leia she's like, comes in okay tip-toe, that's tip-toe, tip-toe, tip-toe. like what a weird concept what is this I just like who was like okay guys lights out and <laughs> <laughs> like who makes that decision who tucks in it's Jabba just, it seems like it's an all night party yeah. but whatever no. so sometime. Bounty Hunter comes in undoes hands like uh, what a <laughs> carbonite, carbonite thing <laughs> unfreezes him he falls out he has he's blind because he was in the carbonite hibernation sickness yep and he's like who are you and she takes off her helmet she's like someone who loves you and it's Leia whoa shocker um, who else be that tiny little person in that whole suit? You know, it's like pretty obvious now looking back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hindsight. I didn't know. I don't think when I first watched this, I'm like, who is that? No, well, me neither. But now watching it, you can like, she's so tiny she's and so like tiny. skinny and yeah. like they definitely gave a woman her in there. If they really wanted to disguise I know, her, let's I know. be real. Let's get real. But was like, I don't know that bounty hunter. Yeah. <laughs> who the fuck is that? Who that? Um, the block. So then, surprise, Job has been there the whole time with his cronies, like hiding out in this little, like, weird section of the palace. Right, right. They're, like, all huddled in the little room. They're like, okay, guys, quiet. We're going to surprise him. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, hur, hur, hur. like, you think you can steal my favorite decoration? Guess again. He's like, you're going to be my love slave. You're going to go back in the jail cell until I find out what to do with you. And then that's that. And then Luke comes in and he's like, it's a big mistake not to let give me to give me Han Solo back. And he's like, Meh, well, too bad. I have this like shoot that drops you down to this really scary beast thing called a rancor. It's going to eat you the fuck up. But it doesn't because Luke outsmarts it. Yeah. It's a real Jedi now. I know. So he gets out and then Jabba's real pissed. So he's like, all right, your death sentence is we're bringing you to the Sarlacc pit. You're going in there. He's going to digest you for a thousand years. I mean, not on a list of five worst ways to die. Probably up there. Number one or two, at least. Um, I just don't get like you're alive in there. Are you alive with all the other people? And you're just like hanging out with a bunch of people waiting to die. 
that's that's awful. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you would eventually die of starvation, so it's not like I don't think it's or would you because you could eat all the people that came down the chute? Why would you? You'd want to die. I know. I know. It's stupid. <laughs> um, like yeah. your body gets digested for a thousand years. Like you're not alive. Hello. Then why is that an excruciating and painful death? Well, like, like initially, he's like, you I will guess. come to know a new form of suffering as you're digested for over a thousand well, years. Well, who knows? Do you get to talk to the people who are in the Sarlacc like intestines? To, I like to think that they, there is a small group of people down there still like hanging out and being like, so, what do you guys want to do today? <laughs> hey, I was digested 899 years ago. One day Only the at 101 dies. years left to go. I'm still waiting for Boba to come out. I'm like, I know he's still in there. He's going to come out. You'll see him. He's alive. Um, anyway, so they drive to the desert and then they're about to jump in the pit and Luke does this like cool thing. There's a fight. They get away. Everything blows up. Leia kills Jabba and they escape. Reconnect with the allied forces. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, it's big now. Right. It's huge. And meanwhile, we find out that the Empire has begun rebuilding the Death Star. Get a like, new idea. Like, what the fuck? I mean, no I more guess, Death Stars. But, I know. But it was already defeated with a very similar way that it gets defeated at the end. Like, hello, get a new thing to blow stuff up with. Don't make it a big ball that looks like a planet. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess, like, if you think of, like, what would be the most powerful weapon in the world? It would be something that could move around and just blow up planets whenever they wanted. Because that's, like, ultimate power. But I don't understand why they're, like, brilliant engineers aren't like, let's make this so a plane can't fly in here and fucking blow it up. I, you know, I'm, I don't know a lot about space engineering, but I assume those things have to be there for some reason. I don't know why. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Anyways. So that's that. The emperor's there. He's like, soups, gross. Um, he has creepy guys with him. And he's like, yeah, let's get this. Wrap it up. Let's finish this thing. <laughs> wrap it up. Speed it up, um, boys. So the rebels find out that there's a new Death Star. A. B, it can probably be destroyed. C, if we get rid of the shield that's located on the planet Endor. Yeah. It's Forced always, moon always taking Endor. down the shield in these movies, right? Because like every fucking thing has some defense mechanism that's controlled by somewhere else, and it's like, ooh, as long as we blow that up, then we can attack it. That's like that's every that's every plot of sure, all these movies, sure, right? Sure, sure. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, so they do a plan to do that. Um, Han, Leia, Luke land on Endor to disable the shield. There's a big hole to do there. We'll talk about the specifics later, but they meet some Ewoks. It's great fun. The Ewoks help them bring the Empire down so they can disable the shield. Lando is leading a group of ships that are going to fly into the Death Star and destroy it. Yep. Meanwhile, uh, well, we, we left well, out the part where Luke went one last pilgrimage to go see right. Yoda on Dagobah. Poor little Yoga. 900 years old. Y- Did you say yoga? Yo- Yoda. Oh. Yoga? Who yoga. am I? Star Wars newbie? <laughs> um, goes to visit yoga. Bad news, it guys. like yoga. Yoda. <laughs> Bad news, guys. What? Yoda is on death's door. Oh, how old is he yeah. now? You know, 999. <laughs> he's 990 years old. 999 <laughs> he's years old. He's pretty old. He's, pretty he's old. like 700, yeah. he said. He's in, the, he's, yeah. he's in the hundos. He's in the late hundos. Uh, so he's like, okay, let me tuck you in, little buddy. Um, they have a little gab, you know, force, you know, this, that. Guess I'm a, a little re- deathbed gab. <laughs> yeah. you know, oh, I guess I'm a real, I'm a real Jedi now. No, you're not. Like, you got to confront Darth Vader before you're a real Jedi. And he's like, what the fuck? You didn't tell me that. That wasn't on the test. It was in the weird cave. It wasn't. She didn't know when it was coming. So he's like, shoot. And then he's like, well, uh, Yoda, like, got to ask you just, like, one thing before you die. Um, Is Darth Vader really my father? (laughs) And then he's like, oh, oh, man, I'm real tired. Like, got to go to bed. (laughs) Completely deflects the question. And he presses them. And he's like, okay, you got me. Uh, Darth Vader is your dad. Oops. (laughs) Sorry. Later, I'm out. And then he basically dies. Yeah. But not before telling him or uh, not before telling him that um, another there's another Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. So Luke leaves, but then um, he sees a little glowing light and oh, who? Old, old buddy, old pal. Well, if it isn't Ben Kenobi. Good old ben Kenobi. And Back Luke the dead. is pissed. He's yeah, like, listen, Ben, you told me that 
my father, that Darth Vader killed my father. Turns out he's actually my father. Oh, yeah. And Obi-Wan's like, well, I mean, it's true. He yeah. did kill your father. <laughs> so I'm like, bullshit rationalization <laughs> from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Just let me just say. Best you were wrong yeah. and lied. Well, ben. I didn't really lie because like technically he died because like the Dark Force took him over and oh yeah, he's mostly machine. So like basically he's dead. Like what? Like that is some, some like bullshit. hocus pocus gaslighting bullshit. right there. Shit. Bullshit. Anyway, so he's like, "Why don't you tell me?" Blah, blah blah. Like again, asks him about, "Ooh, who's this other Skywalker?" Yoda was talking about, and does Obi Wan straight up tell him? Yeah, yeah. He's like, "Your sister." No, 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 no. no. He doesn't. No, remember because I joked about this because he was like, he tells him the whole story how when they were born, they separated oh, them yeah. so the Emperor wouldn't get them because they knew that like the um yeah he says it's a, it's a girl, and then. Um, uh, Obi Wan goes, but your sister's identity is anonymous. And then, like, literally one beat later, Luke is like, "Leia, <laughs> anonymous, my butt." Well, who so else would it be? It could have well, been anybody all, else. Who else could it be? Because there are a two women in the fucking galaxy. Well, it's Leia. Yeah, but he didn't have Mon to, like- Mothma and <laughs> uh, an exotic dancer and like a couple strippers. I mean, but that he is- didn't say that you know her. He was just like. You know, it would have been convenient. I mean, well, the pickings are slim. Who else would it be? He's never seen any other woman. Why does it? Why does he have to have known her like already and met her? Like she could just be some anonymous woman out in the galaxy. There's that no he's never anonymous met. woman in the in the galaxy. There's no other women in the galaxy that Luke knows. You're only judging by who who Luke's met. Who have we met? I know. I'm just saying. Like realistically, it could have been anybody. Anyway, but as luck no. would have it, it's Leia. Well, as luck would have it, but also he knows because he can feel it. Because a, they're twins. B, there's a force. Hello. Anyway. So anyway, so he comes out with that information, and he's like, sweet. So then he rejoins them, and the whole group, and then they're on all on Endor, like trying to get the shield okay. down. Yeah. But at one point, Luke is like, "Damn, I gotta finish this mission." I got to leave you bitches and like, I got to go talk to my dad. So he leaves them and goes, you know, basically on a suicide mission, if you will. It isn't, but like could be uh, to the Death Star trouble. And walks right into their clutches. The emperor's like, oh, good. Like, I'll train you to be my new apprentice. And Luke's like, what? Like, I don't want to be your apprentice. Like, I'm good. I'm here to convert my dad back to the good side. He's like, impossible. He is gone forever. I'm old. <laughs> and um, Luke's just like resisting it, but is a little angry, blah, 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 blah. Finds out that his friends have been lured into a trap, basically, because the shield's not Ka-chow. down. Um, but then, you know, things start turning around and the Emperor provokes a lightsaber battle between Darth Vader and Luke. Um, they go at it for a little while, but, you know, nothing happens really. Oh, Luke cuts off Darth Vader's hand, you know, payback, bitch. Mm-hmm. Um, there's that, but then Luke's like, oh, that felt weird. Like, I'm sad about it. And then stops and he's like, I quit. And then throws his lightsaber away. (laughs) And the Emperor's like, oh, really? And then zaps him with his like lightning hands. Meanwhile, they do get the shield down. Uh, Lando and Wedge go in that Death Star. They're going to blow it up. Blow it up. They start turning around. The rebels are winning. And then Luke's like, father, father. And he's getting all like shocked, and then Darth Vader like looks from like the Emperor to Luke, and he's like, "Huh, I don't feel good about this." And then he takes the Emperor, lifts him up over his head, and like throws him into this thing. Um, yeah, looks pretty electrical. Yeah, I don't know. Looks, um, looks bad. <laughs> looks bad news. Uh, so he's dead, I guess. And um, so is Darth Vader, basically, because he got a lot of shocks. You know, it fucked with his machines or whatever. He's he's dead too. Yeah. He's dying. Um, but guys, he's good. He's good again. He's good. Again. He's good. Like shock just like, the good back into just him. Just like that. He's mm-hmm. back. He's Anakin is back. And he's like, Luke, help me take off this helmet. And he's like, but you'll die. He's like, duh. Like it's already, it's too late for me. <laughs> like I just want to look at you. So he takes it off. He looks like an egghead. <laughs> I always thought that when I was little. He looks I'd be like, like Humpty Dumpty. He does look like Humpty Dumpty. Really it's weird because his head is like a weird shape yeah. at the top. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but it's it's a sweet moment, and he's like, "You were right about me. Like I was good. Tell your sister you were right." And then he dies, and you're like, "Oh, sad." Or if you're like sweetie, you're like, oh, "God, I'm <laughs> so proud of that." <laughs> Why did he have to die? Why did he have to die? <laughs> um. 
so Luke like pushes him his dead body on a <laughs> on a ship and flies out of there. Um, Lando's like, see you at the after party, Wedge, and they fly <laughs> off to Endor where there's like a big after party, dance party, Ewok party. Everybody's all excited because the Emperor's dead, and the whole and, uh, empire empire yeah. is over. So it shows, and this was the well, we'll go over this later, but a the whole added scenes. So they they show different planets and cities and the whole galaxy celebrating you know almost like a the v a ve day or vj day in world war ii right like everyone like fucking partying in the streets being like woo war's over like sweet hmm. so they show all the different if you've watched like all the prequels and stuff they do they show like different scenes from all those too because there's worlds that you know that are in this galaxy right mm-hmm and then they end <laughs> finally on on endor with the ewok party and um Luke has, is gives a old the old Viking funeral burns uh burns Darth Vader barbecue Darth Vader um to to burn his body and then oops what do you know um there he is good old Hayden <laughs> Christensen I was like he's alive <laughs> good old Darth Vader when he was nineteen pops up next to good old eight hundred year old Yoda and five hundred year old to Obi-Wan. remember his best self. <laughs> That is bullshit. Well, he couldn't. Well, if you think about it, if he, you you're saying, and if like Obi Wan said Anakin was killed when he became Darth Vader, like that was the last time he was Anakin, right? Well, also I always thought that like, and obviously they couldn't do this in Return of the Jedi, but like when he became machine, I always thought that like Darth Vader sort of like stayed that age, whatever he became the machine at. Like he didn't really like age. I mean, I guess he would have because like how else he would have died, but like. I don't know. I don't really get it. And I don't really get like what makes him such a machine. Like right. it seems like he just has like um, needs help breathing. Because in the <laughs> prequels they explained it as in he like fell in the fire pit. No, Obi-Wan and sliced b- his legs off and he like fell. So it's just his legs. His legs it, but that got burnt. Yeah. Right? I don't know. He looked like a burnt mess <coughs> when right. they pulled so him out of that lava. I thought he had like, such bad burns that it was like it's that, that to, machine was keeping his, that. him alive yeah. in some ways. I guess. I don't yeah. know. It seems shoddy science to me. But his, his anyways, legs fine. it's all good. <laughs> yeah. and everybody's anyway, like, so, hey, Luke, yay. Yeah. And then it's all happy. So it's and happy, it. sad because it's like, well, I mean, he never had a father anyway. And he had a father for maybe like 10 seconds of his life. And he's like, wow, miss those days. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was mm. fun. Um, so it's sad. But... The good news is Empire, for the moment, <laughs> is dead. Is dead. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, hooray, hooray! hooray so, who knows? So many. I mean, and that's the interesting thing with this. Like, what is the length of time between New Hope and this? Not in real world, right? Because New Hope was seventy-eight. This is eighty-three. So you know. Five years, five years for all three movies. I mean, long but enough in for the, in the gal, the you right. know Star Wars world. How much? I mean, time long is enough that? for Han and Leia to get together and have a baby. Long enough for that baby to grow up to be about what? No, no, no. The time between the New Hope and then the end of this movie oh, in well, the I don't Star know. Wars. It's world. like what we're talking about. Like we don't know how yeah. long it was. We don't know. Um, but yeah, great, great times. Um, yeah. So when I was little, I think I loved. My favorite parts were definitely the beginning sequence mm-hmm. at Jabba's Palace. Totes, I just totes. love that scene. I still like it Me a too. lot, actually. I love it. I love it. Um, I love just all the different details in there. Um, there's so much fun language. Jabba's language seems to be like a weird pig Latin mm-hmm. hybrid. Um, I love slash hate the weird elephant man guy with the scary yeah. so nails. So let's go, let's go over this a little bit more scene by scene. So Jabba's palace, Jabba's henchmen, quite an array of fun, good characters. So you call him the, the elephant, elephant man. man. I call him the albino squid headed creepster. Hmm. Cause he's creepy. Yeah. I suck. He's so and he's creepy. always kind of like looking in the distance and being like, and smiling yeah. in this like weird way. He's always just like leering at people yeah. from a distance. I mean, he's such a creepy. And he has like red beady eyes, Ugh. 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 disgusting fingernails. And he's, oh my God, I hate that part where he like pets R2D2 and he's like, Jabawanka. 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 So gross. Jabawanka. There's also what I like to call warthogs. You call them 
space pigs. <laughs> Pretty sure they're space pigs. I mean, pigs. Pigs. look like a pig in space. So, uh, rodent monkey pet, mm-hmm. which I learned upon this viewing and reading the trivia, is named Salacious Crumb. <laughs> oh, that thing! I thought you were talking about the thing that was walking on its hands down the stairs. And I was like, what? That's awesome. Good old Salacious Crumb. Good old SC. And a variety of other puppets and creatures that you actually have seen on other like the in from the new hope from new hope um in tatooine so it's like a lot of the people who are people characters creatures who are at the bar in the beginning scene there's a guy who looks like um what's that guy who shoots tries to shoot han in the first one oh um guido no fredo no guido frito 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 that's the godfather (laughs) it's like Greedo. Greedo, Greedo. Yeah. So they're like he's basically there, so it's another like version of him. So And a woman one. And a oh a woman one. Is one of the dancers. Oh, the backup dancers. Oh yeah. It's like whoa. Right. So there's a couple Greedo with the a backup wig. dancers are like humanish looking, but like, you know, kinda kinda weird, have like different little things to them. Um yeah, it's such an interesting cast of characters there. And it's like such a cool little dungeon. For me, same thing, like obsessed with that scene, so cool. Couple reasons. Uh First of all, the, uh, what is it called again? Rancor. The Rancor scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. I remember that scene so all scary. the time. And then the revamped ones, show, the revamped movie shows a lot more of that scene, I think. Hmm. At least, yeah. Well, at least in the beginning. So remember the part, so the part, they added a couple parts, the new revamped in that whole Jabba scene. Mm-hmm. So the first, which we talked about when we were watching this, is that stupid fucking musical number. Mm-hmm. In the job of the hut scene, where like George Lucas was like, mm, I just feel like um, this needs like a like jazzy bluesy like musical number here. Like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> so he puts these like weird animated characters who like sing and their lips like go like really close to the camera. It's just, just really I takes you. Know. Yeah, it just even, really takes you out of the out of the movie so much. Um, and it sucks. And then so, they yeah. added the part where the dancer gets eaten. So like. They added that? No, they added the part where she gets dropped down there. She used to just get dropped down there, and then, like, that's all you saw, and then you heard her scream, but then they, like, filmed a little bit more where she, like, you saw what happened to her down there. No, you don't. You just see her, like, look at something and scream. Yeah, I think that was the new part. I don't think you even saw that part of it. Oh, weird. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, so, yeah, but I love that scene, and it scared me so much because I'd always just put myself in that situation and be like, uh, to be, like, trapped with a big monster, and you just eat in, and when that pig gets eaten, it's, like, really sad. Cr- was like, it the bone crunching? So, yeah, you're like, it's that's a, a terrible way to die. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, good scene. Um, what else? Jabba. Well, also, and very famously, the Leia bikini scene. <laughs> yes. Always, like, is, was... Even as a little kid, like, so distracting, being like, what is happening there? And now, as a grown woman, you're like, damn, Jabba knew how to accessorize. I mean, he gave her a head, like, a beautiful headpiece. Well, we don't know if he gave it. His Whoever does the wardrobe well, in Jabba's like, palace. Descri- like, figure out what that process was. So they're like, hey, you're captured. You're going to be the sex slave. Like, welcome to the sex slave wardrobe department. Um pick out a gold bikini or like you know oh, put on this headpiece we're gonna braid your hair into this like i don't know how that works i imagine it's similar to the droid shop where it's like who are you okay this is your assignment you do this you do that also i was questioning to myself like how they know what size she was and then i was like oh just kidding they don't care about sizes because they gave that fat lady like a piece of fabric to cover her boobs with and that was it so right. i mean i don't think they paid attention to that but yeah good times and yes every guy's fantasy leia yes. in the bikini yep yep and she i mean she looks good she looks damn good skinny skinny mini um but i was reading in the trivia that like sh- Carrie Fisher like refused to use double sided tape on that bikini, so her boobs were popping out like all the time. They had to keep stopping and like reshooting for like wardrobe malfunctions. So good for you, wow! Because it's it's funny because well they said that like she complained about her costumes for the first two movies because she was like always in really long dresses with long sleeves, and she's like, oh my god, like no one's even gonna know I'm a woman, like the one woman in this world. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, because what does she have? I mean, she just had normal clothes. Yeah, she's like like general. Yeah. Or whatever in that. So then I guess like George Lucas was like, fine, you want to look more like a lady? Like, here's a fucking gold bikini. 
So whatever, dude. Uh, but I think that's that's funny. But yeah, I think that scene is just is really fascinating. And they do. And once they go into the um, so they go on the sand barge and then they go out to like feed them to the Sarlacc. That part so good. And the, I feel like the beginning too is like there's so many fun lines for Han Solo. It's just like like line after line yeah. and it's hilarious it's pretty and we just great. love it it's pretty great yeah and and sadly your favorite character comes to his demise uh, in the very beginning R.I.P. Boba Fett yeah. Boba Fett Boba Fett <laughs> where um, yeah I don't know what it is about Boba Fett and why people like him so much I know why I like him so much but I don't know why like fanboys love him so much I guess because he just looks cool yeah, he I look- love him so much because he seems like he'd be really good in bed and what if he's busted under that mask? Have you seen the the Attack of the Clones? He's not. And because remember, it's like um, Jango Fett. It was like the model that they used because yeah. all this whatever are like clones. And then Jango Fett is B- little Boba little Fett Boba sees Fett. his father get killed by Obi Wan or someone. Yeah. And like he's like vengeance, but he chases Han Solo. I don't know. But anyways. This scene at Jabba's Palace with Boba Fett, like talking to the ladies, really sets me off. It's I don't know what it is about that scene. It's just like he just it just like really gets me. Um, anyways, but he's dead. Going. He falls in the Sarlacc pit. He's done. It's such a sad, like dumb, dumb death. Death. A lot and, of the dumb deaths in this yeah. one. You're like that's dumb it. Dumb death. And like Why I get the dumb me? death thing for characters you just met, mm. but this is a character that's been in all the movies, right? He was in the first one, right? Where they're like, find Darth Vader is like, find these people, and Boba Fett's like one of the bounty hunters. No, mm. I don't know. Uh, we'll look into the that second one. Um, but anyways, yeah, he just deserved more. Like, yeah. whatever, whatevs, whatevs. Um, I mean, but yeah, it's I mean. a great scene, and I like how the plan all comes together, and that's all fun. It's good action sequence, good times, good times, good times. And that's is that it with Jabba's palace scene? Um, End scene. Okay, I have a couple questions oh, okay. if we yep, want to yep, tie yep. that in. Okay, so there's a couple moments, well, two that I know of, well, sort of, where like Jabba is like licking and going to like lick somebody and then they they like turn away from the camera and then everyone's just like, Ugh. So like, what is the Jabba licking <laughs> sitch, okay? Does he just like lick them to death and it's like a weird, gross, like gropey, like rapester kiss or... What is what do you think happens there? I mean, he co- refers to her like as a concubine. He's like Leia Conky, which I assume <laughs> means concubine. But like, does he have sex? Can he have sex? Does he have sexual organs? Does he have a penis? What does he have? What's his stuff like? And he has like little T Rex arms, doesn't he? So it's not like he's like touching. And he's them. just like a slug. So I don't, yeah, I don't get I don't it. Understand I don't understand how it works. So whatever. Well, f- someday we'll know. I don't yeah. know. Jabba um, solo movie, you know. Yep, maybe it'll we'll be find good. Out. Yeah, maybe it'll be like a skinny job of the hut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll back in skinny, the old days, skinny slug. You know, was back when I was young, you know, spin. buck fifty. Um, okay, what? Okay, so in the beginning scene, um, Luke, as a newfound Jedi, professional Jedi, mm-hmm. um, comes and uses the old Jedi mind trick. Mm-hmm. So this has been introduced from the beginning, where remember Obi Wan goes, "You haven't seen any droids." You know, not the droids you're looking, you're for. looking for. Like, move along, blah, blah, blah. So you know about this Jedi mind trick, and then Luke uses it in this one to basically get into Jabba's palace. And Jabba calls it out because his assistant is just lets Luke in, and he's like, you weak-minded fool, you know, blah, 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 Jedi mind trick. So what would you use your old Jedi mind trick for? Oh, boy. If you had those um, powers now. I don't know. Whoever I had a crush on, I would just be like, you love me. Okay. Done. Um, I'd probably go to the bank and be like, you're going to give me $20,000. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Debt. Gone. Um, I don't know. I think that, I think, I think that's it. That's all I would need to just get my, my foot in the door, you know, and start my life. That's pretty good. I'd probably go to a bar and be like, you're going to give me free drinks all night. <laughs> you need free <laughs> drinks all night? What? Fuck yeah. That's excessive. That's pretty fun. Or what else do I like to do? I'd go to <laughs> you go to Beyonce and be like, I'm your best friend. And then you okay, get concert that's tickets. That's the plot to Teen Witch. Oh, <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're confusing <Shana>. things. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, though. I mean, that's a superpower that, like, you know, doesn't really get talked about a lot. 
Nope. The good old. I like to say the good old Jedi mind trick like that. Because it just really it's pretty fits. Good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Cool. Any other questions? Cool. Um, nope. That's okay. okay. Uh, um, so like the next big scene, I guess, is Endor? Yeah. Or, yeah. I mean, we, I mean, we, we basically we, talked we about the, over Yoda the Yoda stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Endor, Ewoks. Cue the Ewoks. <laughs> So our first Ewok is, first of all, there's well, this wait, crazy... Wait, sorry. So first, I just want to go into, just talk a little bit about the speeder chase, because well, I think that scene is about. awesome. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So set it up. Okay. So they are on Endor, and so the whole plan is that there is this basically satellite dish that is controlling the defense mechanism for um, the Death Star, right? So they got to blow that shit up to be able to have any ch- chance to blow up the Death Star. Mm-hmm. So they get there and they're like, okay, like we just got it. you know, there's a couple guards, you know, guarding like the entrance to that or whatever. So like, okay, we got to take these guards out. So Han's like, okay, I'll do it. And like goes up and like, there's only a couple of them. I think there's only like two. So it's not that many of them. And he tries to sneak up on him and he breaks his stick. The guy turns around so they know they're there. So he's able to disarm one, but then like two or three fly away on speeders and they're like, shit. So then Luke and Leia hop on one speeder and go after the other guys because they got to kill them or if they, you know, if they are able to like radio back that the rebels are on that base, like the whole plan shot, right? So there's this great scene in the Endor forest, which was filmed in California in like kind of redwood country. So it's this like beautiful forest and they're on these speeders and they're going so fast in between like these crazy like giant trees everywhere. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how. And like the the stunt or the effects are pretty cool in that scene. Like yeah. it's just so fast. Yeah, it's so fast. You can, I mean, you can tell it's kind of like placed like, in know, there. But they do it later yeah. on. An Ewok gets on one of those babies and fires it oh, up yeah. and fly. Like it's, he knows how to do it's it. It's crazy. Like what? It's crazy. So it gets like it's just so fast. You're just like, what's going on? So then what happens is Luke jumps on one of the other speeders. So then they get separated. And then, like, Leia Speeder gets shot. She jumps off. But then the guy, luckily, that she was chasing, like, isn't looking and crashes into a tree. And then Luke is able to disarm them. So, like, that whole thing is, like, neutralized. But now Luke and Leia are separated. And Leia's, like, in the middle of nowhere. And she doesn't know where she is. And she passes out for a little bit because she's, like, kind of tired. So she wakes up getting poked by this giant bear-like thing. (laughs) Which ends up being an Ewok, but they actually never call them Ewoks in this whole movie. Hmm. So that was a later addition, I guess, that was like released about what those creatures, well, well, they call them that in the credits, so I guess. Right, I mean, I just think, yeah, it was just one of those things. And so this little guy's name is Wicket, and he's really cute, (laughs) and he at first is like worried about um, Leia, but she like obviously is like, I'm good, like here's a weird cracker, like eat that. And he, you know, quickly warms up to her. Saves her from being, like, shot and killed by more... Um, they're not stormtroopers, right? Because they're not... They're different... Oh, the white ones aren't stormtroopers? Well, different outfits. <laughs> it's, like, different Do they gear. have different outfits? No. no, they're a little different. Okay. They're a little... I don't know what they are. Maybe they're stormtroopers? I don't know. No. Um, but he saves her, and then they walk off together. So then, yeah, so Luke and Han are like, we're going to find Leia. And then they wind up in the Ewok village... And we just really loved, I think, just the the way that the Ewoks are. They're just really cute. They're funny. I'm sorry, but I think it's funny. Like when the when the Ewok is like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and they all look different. So they're like all kind of like teddy bear looking, but and like sort of like large teddy bears. Not like little small ones. Well, some of them are small, but they all look different. So some of them are like skunky patterns. <laughs> the skunky one always freaked me out. I know me too. Like, I never liked that one. And they're basically they're very tribal. So they're basically supposed to be like almost like a let's say like African tribe or like Amazonian tribe, like in the woods, right? So like kind of untouched from civilization. C three PO can communicate with them because he speaks like six thousand languages or whatever, mm-hmm. six billion forms of communication. Million, billion, billion. Oh, um, it's a lot. And he, and he goes, oh, they're they're speaking a very primitive dialect. So clearly, like they're not like you know in the woods like doing their own thing. But they're so cool because they all look different. They're all different colors. They're all different like variations of a bear looking face, big eyes. There's little Ewok babies. Mm, There's men and so women cute. for like you know, and opposed to like the other Star Wars world, which is like quite diverse, where you have r- every race represented basically in the Star Wars man world. Except there's no women. There's black, Asian, like Hispanic and white men, but no like women at all. Mm-hmm. It's very <laughs> strange. 
Yes. But yeah, so it's like all different like colors and shades of Ewoks. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little like sweet gathering. I thought that went on. It, that does that part does drag like a little bit for me. Um, but they have a nice, they have, there's a whole scene where Luke and Leia get to talk and confess, you know, he confesses to her that they're siblings and like all this and that. Um, but Ewoks are fucking adorable. And do you remember, I wanted to bring this up. So if you've ever been to MGM studios, which we have, remember we went on star tours and like a big part of star tours is like the end, like some of the Endor stuff. You're on the speeder. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think I remember that. And sure, you're like sure, touring sure, sure. that whole whole I thing. I just remember you feeling really sick after. I did. Ice cream I totally got like felt motion, motion sickness. But so I will say with the Ewoks that like that's a huge thing that people don't like about this movie, right? And that we've always stood up for as being like, fuck you, they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> I just think they're cute. And I think that it just happens that we were the target audience. When we watched this, we were, I don't know, like seven... 10 you know perfect age for that and we were enraptured and we loved it and that's the big part of why i this was my favorite star wars movie right. um but, i mean it gets a little long but i really liked that different sort of universe that they showed you know and they're like yeah and i like the fight the yeah, fight the fight is good he walks all pitching in to help out um one really sad part though is when that one little ewok dies and it's two Ewoks and then there's a blast and then one of them goes down and then you think they're both dead but one of them gets up and he's like, whoa, that was crazy. And he's like, oh, Phil, time to go. And like <laughs> shakes his buddy God. and his buddy's not moving and it's so sad. And he just like kind of and like lays on when him. I saw, and there's no blood or anything but he's just, right. he's it's just like not doing well. So after I saw Rogue One, somebody was like, how was it? And I was like, well, it's a little bit like that scene in Return of the Jedi <laughs> where that Ewok dies and you're really sad, but the whole time. <laughs> Good. It's just like Call. all these people that Everybody you've become dies. attached yes. to and that are such great characters and that you love. And then when you see one die, you're like, oh, yeah. like. But at least with that movie, you know that you knew I, that was going to happen. I know. I know. Because like they had, that was like a whole like suicide mission. But I will say, and what I did like about the fight scene, and we like made a joke when we were watching it because it was like, so like the rebels so it's like Leia and Han at this point are all basically like they try to blow up the the dish or that thing that does like the um the shield, the shield. and they get they get caught so it's like more people than they thought were going to be there or something mm-hmm. like that so then they get brought out and then what happens is like they're gonna uh, like arrest I don't even know what they were gonna do kill them or whatever like that and then all of a sudden the Ewoks like come and like attack Mm -hmm. and it's basically all of the Ewoks like more than you I mean they had a pretty big it was a lot of a lot of Ewoks yeah and they have all these (laughs) very primitive weapons so what I liked about that was like because you've already seen so many different variations of fights with like the rebels and like the Imperial Mm -hmm. whatever so whether you're on Hoth whether you're on like in the sky whatever it all starts to like look the same, right? Like how do you defeat the like walkie things? Mm-hmm. Like, which are a little different than the snow ones. These ones look like Smaller. a little different. Yeah. I think they're Imperial walkers. Yeah. They're like little, almost like bug looking. So I like how they did it with this because then it was like, well, here's some new ways to defeat them. As you said, like primitive weapons. <laughs> no. So, yeah. so it's like, like again, almost like Viking days. So you have like people with bows and arrows, you have like rock slingshots, <laughs> like, and they go, they go down. Like it, they are still able to do it. And they have all these like cool, like logs strung in trees. They have vines <laughs> all up there. So they're like swinging up through the trees and like hopping onto the area, the imperial like mm-hmm. walkers and like knocking on the door so that people like let them in and then pull. i mean it's like it's really creative so i think that they're resourceful is, like, they're really resourceful cool. as yeah. fuck yeah yeah and they fucking do it and i love that part where they like take over the imperial walker and and then like are just basically like how great that must be for or like our crazy must be for the the imperial people to be like oh my god our like own gun is shooting at us like mm-hmm. what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah i like that too it's good yeah. um yeah so there's that scene and then the big fight scene at the end. Well, I mean, the, the airspace fight. What was that called? Well, airspace fight <laughs> and, like, I would say the lightsaber scene between oh, yeah. Darth Vader and Luke, and Luke, which I, like, kind of completely forgot about. Hmm. It was good. I really, like, thought that was great. Yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, it just got so intense. It did. Red and green? Uh, Christmas. Pretty yeah. Christmas every day. Um, I... Hmm... I don't know what I was going to say. 
You liked that space Brave battle, Heart. though. Yeah, so the space battle is cool. So um, I like Lando's cool. Like I just like love Lando. We talked about him a lot in The Empire Strikes Back. We had a great story about how you know <sighs> we've seen a uh, Billy Dee Williams in real life. No biggie, no big deal. Um, and he has like a little bit more time to shine in this. So really, he's just basically like <laughs> his whole most of his lines are like. The shield's not down. Like, okay, we're just going to wait for the shield to come down. We're just going to wait for the shield. I know it's going to come down. I know it's going to come down. <laughs> no, he's got good ideas. He's, he's like, got good ideas. He's street like, smart. He knows things. Yeah, but he's like just basically just like, when the fuck is this going to happen? But then like once that battle comes, like fucking nails it. Well, so yeah. good. Yeah. So they're like, yeah, they're in the Death Star and it's just crazy. It's just cool. It's cool. Um, the Emperor's death scene scary or not hmm you know what used to scary about that scene is when darth vader picks him up and you can see like darth vader's skeleton for a little while like when he's electrocuted kind of like in I home alone seen, like he looked really dusty <laughs> do you know so i don't know why but like when luke like attacked him and cut his hand off yeah, so things cut, were falling down is that right why? okay so. So, then, so then i just kept okay i was so distracted because he's like standing next to the emperor where the emperor's like delivering the speech that's like okay like basically i'm gonna kill you now and then he's just like electrocuting him for like a long time and you're like wait a minute so like you and like he's totally fine after he stops electrocuting him and you're like oh, that didn't hurt you at all that's strange but anyway so i just was like so distracted because like he's electrocuting electrocuting him and, and darth vader is just standing there looking at it and you're supposed to be like okay like he's thinking about this and trying to like process okay this person's like killing my son like Am I okay with this? But all I could see was this like covering of dust on like the black Darth Vader yes. helmet. And I was like, wait, how did you get so dusty? There's <laughs> dust buttons. Um, it's good. good but yeah, no, it re- I mean, the Emperor is scary as fuck. And I had to remind Sweetie here that like that actor was they were able to get him to do the prequels. So like you see the pr- actual progression of that it's emperor crazy. from essentially like a normal quote unquote sort of normal looking person. I mean, he's like an old guy with like a pointy nose and then turns into like the crypt keeper, like within a couple of movies. <laughs> um, and is I like so forgot why evil. that happens, but I, I think it's the evil that yeah. just like takes him yep. over essentially. Cause he is a, a Sith always. And you don't find that out till the end. Yep. The third one or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, so kind of cool that like they did that, but that guy is like disgusting, and he has like, yeah, he's like all like ring- he's he's just like he's he's been in a bathtub for like eight hundred years, <laughs> like you know when you get all like wrinkly or raisiny. Yes. That's basically what it looks like. Yes. He's pale. He's got like gross mm-hmm. yellow contacts. But the worst I'm, part like, about nasty. him is he has these like weird sidekicks who are like the scarier. Yeah looking they look like vampires they look like the vampires in the beginning of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie they're really pale and have they're really tall and skinny and they're wearing weird like winter hats so you think those are just like friends he had who just like hang out <laughs> hang about well like hang out with him like or like emperor or whatever you have like what is that the equivalent of like ladies in waiting like uh, um, okay yeah yeah, yeah. or it almost seems like like, pope like or something doesn't like the pope have people like Bishops? hang around like that I don't or know card- mm, cardinals, cardinals or something Maybe. I don't know because if you've seen the new movie whoever that like new emperor leader person is also has like creepy guys in red oh, yeah. yeah because remember in the well, second were, one that was like his guard oh they were the guards yeah. okay well in the second one remember it was the guys in red right who were like came off the ship or well those are were different in, those were his guards too those are his guards too yeah. yeah but these people weren't like real clothes and were weird and scary looking but i always remember that part and being like "Ooh, gross um yeah he's gross but and also you're like you're stupid like you are a dumbass like you think this is like actually gonna work and i kind of like think that part's funny where he's like oh well you're not gonna join us okay i'm gonna kill you <laughs> like do what you well, gotta do pretty simple like this yeah. this is the option here and it just seemed like i don't know it was like brilliant as those guys are supposed to be because they think they can like see everything mm-hmm. and like determine everything like look at read the room read the room do you know luke skywalker at all no well no Clearly but not. he knows his father and his father was easily turned um i mean really like if you rewatch the prequels not that i recommend it if you it's a rainy day i don't know you're bored um the switch of anakin from it's, good to bad is kind of quick but it doesn't hit, like, what is his, 
what is the, it's the a, start well, of Well, I mean, it's a few one. things. It's like he goes back to his mom's and she, the Sam people like kidnapped her and like raped her or something yeah. and she's dying and he's uh, angry about that, kills all the sand people. So that's the anger. Right. I think his, yeah, his anger just like overtook him. Yeah. It was and like, then but got, from like tragedy though, but right? But then why does like, he get he mad and like kill Natalie Portman by accident? Oh. Forget what happens. Because mm. she's probably like, she's I'm like, you're your weird ass. now. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. But whatever. He knew his father and he knew that his father was turned. So I guess it's a logical next step to, to be like oh your son's gonna be the same um so yeah whatever yeah and that's not like really not what i'm getting from like the kylo ren part of the new ones because it just seems like in his case he like had a choice and he decided to go that way versus like there well, was they implied really. that he went that way because he saw luke trying to kill him yeah but luke tells the real story which what was the real story? Well, the real story was that Luke did actually see, basically, like kind of was saying before, there's there's this part of the Jedi where you can like kind of have like a premonition and like see the future. So he like saw him turning evil and went to his bed and kind of like thought about that for a second. But it's the like Harry Potter thing where you're like, if like because you did that, like you created him turning evil. Right. So it's like an endless loop of like whatever, right. like. Voldemort marked Harry as his equal, thereby making the prophecy come to life. Yeah. So it's confusing. But because Kylo Ren saw like Luke almost try to kill him, he like almost tried to kill him. But then he but he killed his own dad. So that's like I mean, he he's just on like seems a path to be the, the, the last step you have to do. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Kill your father. Right. What the um, hell? Yeah, I don't know. So oh, we missed so I just want to mention real quick, um something that always cracks me up in this is in the, in the beginning when they're at Jabba's palace and they're in like the droid shop. It's a weird torture chamber for droids, question mark. And they show this droid being like flipped upside down and there's red hot poker things coming down and the little droid's like, no, no, no. And <laughs> do droids feel pain? Maybe they have a button where they can like feel pain. I don't what know. What would be the point of droids feeling pain? I don't know. It's very bizarre. That's but I bizarre. love that scene. Um, what else did I miss? Um, do you know what that thing that Chewie always wears is? That like yeah. is like belt. I, is. I think it's an ammo thing, but you uh. never see him like utilizing that. So yeah. I feel like it's not needed. Um, it just seems like it's extra weight. Maybe yeah. he feels secure. Maybe it's like an anxiety <laughs> blanket for him. Because he's sure. got nothing else to wear. I he's know. Like, I'm just, As we I'm all basically know, basically just a walking carpet. Yep. So yep. yep. Uh, what else you got? I got um, um, okay. Awkward. You walk after party. <laughs> oh my god, I love oh that god. scene. So Sweetie pointed out that at the end there is so everybody comes back there and like dancing and like all the pilots are dancing and the the strike team's dancing and then you see like little wedge being like super awkward and just like looking around and being like <laughs> and, like I don't know anyone here. <laughs> I don't know anybody <laughs> oh, at this party. Chewy, someone I know. Oh, oh. oh hey Luke, <laughs> Luke over here. Hey, it's me. It's me, Wedge. Way back, back from Tatooine, shooting womp rats. <laughs> no, that was big. That was his friend Biggs. He's oh dead. shit, Biggs died. Yeah, he's dead. Sorry, yeah, Wedge was not the friend. That's why. That's why the hug seemed not genuine when they did embrace. They've been together in every battle, but they're not like real friends. They're well, like they friends are. through war. Mm, I guess, but they don't. They're not like fighting the trenches. They're each in their own plane. So it's like, wait, yeah, but Luke knows he's a great. I mean, obviously he's the best one because he's the only one that survives he's all the these fucking survives. battles. But I'm glad a couple other people did too. Yes, you know, I think yeah. Gold, um, le- gold leader, I think made it. Thank <laughs> God, oh, the my, leaders my team. never make That's it. That's my team. Gold, gold. gold? That's what I said what? On, on a previous podcast. Oh, what's my team? I think you picked red leader. Uh, hmm, makes sense. Yeah. Is that what wedge is on? Great, probably. Um, he's my you, favorite. I don't care. No, you love your wedge. <laughs> Oh, biggest regret, not buying that wedge action figure. Still sticks with me. Um, anything else? That's all my notes. Yeah, I mean, that's all I got. I mean, good. I think it's a solid movie. I mean, you I know. still enjoy it. Haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate, 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 hate. hate. Um, uh, just but really hate that at the end they insert Anakin, Hayden oh. Christensen as the spectral 
version of Anakin Skywalker. And what's funny is I don't think I've ever actually seen that done because we had the VHS, which was the remastered version, which was just them inserting all those right. shitty special effects, but not the prequels hadn't been made yet. So there wasn't an Anakin. It was the, whoever the actor was that played um, Anakin at the end of Return of the Jedi. Um, and then at some point, George Lucas is like, oh, I got a great idea. Let's bring Hayden well, Christensen back. Okay, it makes no sense for like a couple of reasons. And we did already go around this in the beginning that you said like maybe that's like, you know, when he was really the last became time a machine, he was like, in like whatever. But you've already seen him dying as this old man. Mm-hmm. You know, Humpty Dumpty, as we said. <laughs> so I don't like, <laughs> say you hadn't seen the prequels. You'd be like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> like, who is that? Yeah, it doesn't make you know? any sense. Like that, I don't understand. Like, there's just, it, if and you're watching this movie, you're like, okay, this person died. Oops, they, they are, there they are in heaven. Like, that's the natural progression. You're not going to put someone else. I mean, it, it's almost like a little gift, I guess, for someone who was able to sit through those stupid prequels with like Hayden Christensen <laughs> is like the most worst actor on the planet. Fine, there's a gift for you. But like, Oh, it's so dumb. And like, oh, Hayden Christian with that stupid long hair. And you're oh, like, oh my God, God you're, hair. you're not even a Jedi. You're the worst. You're the worst. <laughs> you killed children. You did. Oh, Ugh. I just, bleh. and then it's like, okay, fine. Then why don't you put like Obi-Wan as Hugh McGregor? Why, why isn't that? Why isn't that done? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't yeah. You, you How about make, that, George? How about that, you know, George? Make Yoda greener because, you know, yeah, he, he was, was greener. In he, the was, he was greener and like, you know, a little more put together. <laughs> as not as much hair coming out of his ears. Yeah. So that's like stupid as hell. So stupid. But, um, you know, as this Star Wars continue, universe continues, so as we've had two of the, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight has come out now. So we'll be waiting for nine in two years. Yeah. Oh, they're man. coming out every two years. But, uh, you know, they're, they're making these little kind of like huh, solo movies. <laughs> No pun intended, <laughs> pun intended. The next, so we had, we had Rogue One, which was excellent. I thought that was so great and like really interesting, like little prequel, what they did there. Um, next one is going to be a Han Solo, basically like prequel backstory about his whole life. So which like, has had a lot of like shaky development. Yeah. So people are kind of different directors. Leery about was that. that that one? That it's like, through, like three different directors. Well, it's Ron Howard. So reshot I, like, it like a zillion times. It. I don't know. It just seems people are worried about it yeah. um, but, it, but like, i'm still excited but it has like amelia clark in it donald glover as so um, lando. lando um randomly woody harrelson is in it i found it's like oh. see what it was and like the main guy is i forget what that actor name is who is on solo but he was yeah. in hail caesar and like he's super quick cute. woody harrelson side plot um remember the golden globes when this recently the one that just they played on sunday everybody um when the guy got up to accept the award for three billboards and he was like t- saying like shout outs to everybody he's like and woody harrelson wherever he might be like <laughs> it's like such a weird Maybe he doesn't come to award shows i'm sure but like what do you mean you don't know where he is does anyone know where he is hello Woody, hello? are you okay you? like come i'm out. worried come out wherever you are. i was like jesus christ yeah uh, I just thought that was funny yeah uh, but that's great interesting i'm i'm still excited about it i will watch any star wars movie that is not helmed by george lucas so i'm excited for <laughs> bring it. it on bring it on and i can't wait and yeah i just i'm sad our journey of star wars is over yeah the ori- um, i mean the original for us but- always be like i'm really loving i'm loving the new ones that came out like we we've seen the newest ones and like we saw the one that came out in december and i thought it was great um do I think it's a classic that people are like gonna have? I mean, that's the thing now. It's like, are what are classics now? Because it's like, do people own DVDs and like watch them all the time? I mean, we've have had like, this discussion before. Like, what is a modern day movie that like we like watch all the time um, and would and would be able to like quote and do a podcast about twenty years from now? Mean Girls. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's may, might be like one of the last ones. No, that is not. No, that's not. What true. else? I think could if it you be? really sat down and thought about it, I mean, I watch The Holiday a fair amount. I will just say, okay, if I not, see that on television, rom-com. I will watch like, that. I mean, not. I mean, rom coms have that certain level, and also they like play them on TV a lot. But I don't know. I'm just like worried about the fate of the classic. Mm, like I don't. I just don't like rewatch movies that oh, often. I do. Hello, it's my favorite thing. Oh, a lot of people do. I think it's you're in the minority. It's just there. me. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. If I see like five movies I've never seen before that are really good and then like the holiday, I'll be like, <laughs> mm, tough call. <laughs> oh, the holiday's on. <laughs> I'll watch that. Well, I don't have I, ca- don't, I don't have cable, so it's just like I no don't No one does anymore, to, like, but it's like whatever's movies. on Netflix, you have digital copies of things. We watch everything digitally now, yeah. so people can still own things and it's in their like whatever cloud. Um I think it just takes time. Like I feel like I'm in that phase now with like movies that came out in like the two thousands. You know, I think it just like needs mm-hmm. to like move. Like, okay, you've got mail. Like, I fucking love that movie. I'll watch it. Like, whenever bring it's it on. on. I almost watched that this yeah. weekend. Good I was one. like, I'm gonna fucking watch that. Yeah, love that movie. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I, I think, think I just yeah. feel like it's just like maybe like a couple years behind. You're just you're just gonna have to. You're in it right now, so it's hard for you to see it. It's right. Like, it's like looking back at fashion trends and being like, what's the big fashion trend that they're gonna make fun of? At this time, like ten years from now, you know, it's like uh, you don't cut out shoulders. Oh, probably bell <laughs> sleeves. I hate those um, <laughs> peasant tops. No, peasant tops. why are they bring peasant tops back? Mini backpacks. Back again. Back again. Um, but yeah. Anyways, so we're done with Star Wars. <laughs> Sad, but uh, you know the thing about Star Wars is I'm sure we're gonna bring it up in plenty of other movies yes. <laughs> because it's just the way we roll and look forward to that so good times good yeah times. so this kind of is going to start our we're going to have sort of a week celebration of a hundred episodes so we're going to be doing like fun stuff all week so this will be our first kickoff of that as our one zero zero we're moving to triple digits episodes <sighs> Uh, but we're going to do some other fun stuff. Yeah. Too. So keep a lookout for that. So keep a lookout for a couple posts this week. Yep. And to do that, take keep a lookout on Twitter at the Sweetie Club or on Instagram at Large Marge sent us. Um, thanks for listening, you guys. Thanks for thanks for hanging with us. 100, 100 episodes. episodes. We have the best fans ever. You guys are amazing. And we love you. Oodles. Love ya. Love you. Bye. Bye.